In good news today, an Albany teen doing something that many of her peers never will. At the age of 18, she's already earned a bachelor's degree and is now starting on her master's. WLB News 10's Fallon Howard shows us how this go-getter is getting it done. 172 students took dual enrollment classes at Albany State University in the fall 2023 semester. One of them is Albany native student Amari Cody, but she is pushing herself to go a bit further. 18 years old, so what kept you motivated to kind of keep pushing and accomplish this huge goal for yourself? Two things. Um, for one, God, I'm very strong in my faith, and I know I couldn't be able to do anything that I've done, anything I'm doing now without him. And for two, my village, I always say that it takes a village, and I couldn't do anything without my support system as well. The unique aspect of dual enrollment is the ability for your classes to be transferred. 30 credits will be paid for by the school, which cuts down two years towards completing your degree. Dual enrollment students are on the state of Georgia curriculum. Therefore, if they go to any college in the university system of Georgia, those credits are transferable and they can use those credits toward whichever degree they'd like to pursue next. Right now, I'm taking courses in the nonprofit management certificate here, you know, waiting to start my master's. But that part of the class I'm taking right now is to achieve my goal of learning so I can start my nonprofits in the future in different shelters and clinics to aid marginalized and minority communities, the less fortunate. Sharon Daniels offers a message for the parents that might be hesitant to take this opportunity. To any parent who has a child in high school and they want to participate in dual enrollment courses, please allow them to participate in the courses. It's, it's one way to allow them to accelerate and um, have the ability to take classes that they won't have to worry about taking once they are enrolled in uh, college. Amari's mother admits she was worried her daughter may have been too determined, but she decided she wasn't going to hold her back. Fallon Howard, WALB News 10, your hometown news source.